Welcome to The Modern Lady, where you'll learn how to elevate your life with elegance. I'm Deborah. If you're new to my channel, please hit that red subscribe button so that you can get an update when I have a new video to share. If you're returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for your continued love and support for my channel. I appreciate and adore you all. Today's video is an elegant woman icon video, and I'm highlighting elegant women who have contributed to the world with style, sophistication, and grace. And they made so much impact to make this world a better place. Today's video is highlighting Emma Azalea Hackley. She was born in 1867 in the state of Tennessee. Emma was a singer and a political activist. In 1900, Emma received her bachelor's degree from the Denver School of Music. Because Emma was so fair-skinned, people suggested that she try to pass as white or Caucasian so that she could be more successful or more popular. Instead of following the suggestions, Emma decided to embrace her heritage as an African-American and she was able to include a sense of racial pride in her music. Emma also supported and promoted the music education for other African Americans in her city and in her area. When Emma lived in Denver with her husband, she founded the Colored Women's League, which is a social club for African American women. It's so incredible to think about how she was in school, getting her bachelor's degree, while also founding this organization. Starting an organization is no easy or small feat. I've started organizations before and it takes a lot of hard work, so I can only imagine the types of difficulties she had to overcome and some of the difficult things that she had to manage to make sure that she could be successful in accomplishing the formation, establishing the organization while she was also in school to get her bachelor's degree. In 1905, Emma moved to Philadelphia where she was the music director for the Episcopal Church of the Crucifixion. In 1911, she formed the Vocal Normal Institute in Chicago. So she's had a lot of contributions in the music industry, in the industry of the arts, and she has really contributed to culture, um, not only in Denver, but also in Philadelphia and Chicago. In 1916, Emma published a book called The Colored Girl Beautiful, and it's like a how-to guide on how to become a refined African-American lady. I mention that here because think about how incredible it was in 1916 to be an African-American author as a woman. It's just really incredible that she was able to do that. I don't necessarily agree with everything in her book. She talked about how to have a certain undertone um, with how you are presenting yourself and making certain features look a different way. So I don't endorse everything in the book and think that it should be the gospel we follow. But I do certainly think that her publishing a book on how to be a refined African-American lady in that time period or in any time period is such an amazing contribution. And as an author myself, I know just how much work goes into creating and publishing a book. So to publish a book in 1916, when this country was segregated, when African Americans like myself were told we were less than, that we were would amount to nothing, we were constantly disrespected, I think it's just absolutely incredible and amazing all of the achievements that Emma was able to accomplish and especially with her book uh, being published shortly before she retired. If you enjoyed this video, I certainly hope that you share it with a friend to let them know how they can be inspired by Emma's story. Emma is so inspirational to me and I'm really excited to share her story with you. So I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next video. Thank you for stopping by the Modern Lady YouTube channel, and until then, bye for now.